Now, what I'd like to do is to demonstrate some of the break shots that we used to have to play during the course of the championship game. Now, on most break shots, you have to play them differently. Now, you take a shot like this. Now, that was the opening, the last thing that I demonstrated was the opening break. Now, after you get into it, actually what you do is run 14 balls off the table, leave one out, then they re-rack the ball, then you try to make the one that's left out and continue your run. So we're, we're assumed that I have run 14 balls, and this is the position I left myself in. Now, this is what we call a break shot. Now, here I want to play this shot with high right hand spin or English and the purpose of it is to try to drive the cue ball through this cluster of ball and keep them all down at this, at this end but of course I have to make this one in this pocket first let's see if we can do it now that's better you see it also kept my cue ball down in this position so that I'd have another shot now here I've got to be careful because the balls aren't scattered too well so it looks like I'm going to have to play a combination on that ball and then try to get up above the balls after this next shot. Let's see what happens. All right, now I have to try to figure on scattering the balls, get them open up a little bit more so I could uh, clear them off the table. And I think I can do it by making this ball sticking there, then playing the red stripe ball in this pocket and then scattering the ball. That worked out all right. Now what do we want to do? Clear them off the table. Now my break shot for the following frame should be either one of these two balls. I can use either one of them. And I can also get position on them after I pocket this ball. So here I'm going to try to make the black ball in that pocket go on down the table, pick that one up, come up and try to get almost straight on this one so I can pick one of the, the red one or the green one off. through there. There we go. Now we're all set for the following frame. See, we did play around those two balls, and now we have a similar break shot to the last frame, but not quite, because I am on a different angle. Here, I'm going to have to hit the shot with more force because I'm almost straight with it. So in other words, I have to force this ball into that pack to create more, of a, more force. Um, and I'm going to have to use a lot more spin than what I used on that last shot to try to hold the ball down here. It turned out all right. But I had to force that ball. Now it's a question of picking them off. should play that one, but I can't reach it. Uh, let's see if we can do it. Now 
Now I'm going to clear this fiber out of the way, and I'm going to try to come up and get straight on this ball here so I can put it in this pocket and then clear this 14 ball away into that pocket, and I might possibly use this two ball for a break shot for the following frame. Let's see if I can get straight on the seven ball. Well, that's pretty close. Well, we did it. Now we have to clear the rest of the balls off the table. And how do you do that? Well, let me see. That's not bad. I have to go down and get that one off, too. Stop. There we have another perfect break shot. Willie, how many in your, let's say, best day did you ever run at one time? How many balls? My highest run was 526. <laughs> how long did it take? About two hours and 20 minutes. Did you miss? No, I quit. Got tired. I just couldn't go home anymore.